Hello, I'm Shadefar, and welcome to Pandemonium, the second level of American McGee's Alice. Hanging ropes are as good as step ladders to those who know how to use them. One thing that's a little weird about these uh, hanging ropes is that, unlike most games that you might be used to, um, when you jump and hit them, they don't carry any momentum. So, when you hit them, you hit them at a standstill. Oh shit, I landed in acid. So you have to starts basically you start from no momentum once you hit it so you have to pull back and forth on the W and S keys to get some momentum going it's a little wonky but not really a big problem why do you pursue me to this deserted place to benefit from your wisdom even blurred vision is valued by the blind if i were clever would i cower in this slag heap i'm not wise girl i just grown old I wish to get very small, no bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh yes, I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering, and I smoke too much, you see. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor. So, if we want to continue onward to the Fortress of Doors, as mentioned by Cheshire, um, we're going to need to get that key from the diamond for this guy. To, you know, reiterate what you all just saw, so kind of unnecessary, but whatever. Old habits. So we go into your mine, which isn't that much of a mine. It's mostly just a little boxy area. And now we get the best thing from every mine in every game, a minecart section. Joy. Luckily, you don't have to do anything during this minecart section. It's just kind of a really long, unnecessary cutscene. I suppose it does give you a nice little panoramic of the area. An area you can't really do anything with, but an area nonetheless. Some map designer had to sit here and make all this just so you could pass by it. Quick wheelie on. Press A to grab the edge. That's not funny. Um, so, that drops us off over here by the card guard compound where there's a bunch more clubs <laughs> Lewis Carroll would not approve maybe he would with all those opiates so here we get our second weapon and our first ranged attack 52 oh, pickup is ranged a staple of juvenile magic but when the 52 pickup is and dices, it's no laughing matter it's a magic base attack so it drains the bar on the right obviously the blue one and uh, it has limited homing capabilities but it's kind of slow so it doesn't work very well against faster enemies if you right click you get this shotgun bunch of cards which is good for taking out enemies that are close Gonna switch back to the knife though against these guys. Cause I don't want to waste all my magic yet. Oh, and there's that diamond right there. He uh they function sort of like wizard type enemies. They shoot little fireballs out of their staff at you, but can also use melee. And they're basically just a better version of the clubs. For some reason they don't seem to kneecap or get cut in half as much either. Not sure, but it seems like decapitations give you more meta essence or whatever. Can't pick any more up for some reason. Um, oh, one thing too. Um, if you look at a spot for a minute, you'll see those little feet appear. That actually shows you how far Alice can jump, which is helpful if you're doing a particularly uh, hard to judge jumping section, which comes up a lot later on, I think. 
So here's the key that the gnome man wanted us to find. I guess it's the skeleton key. And then this little portal thing appears, which instantly drops you here. The first time I saw that, I, I was kind of expecting a little, you know, getting sucked in graphic, but I guess... This isn't exactly Aperture Science. Surprise attack. Shit. You guys are kind of annoying because they just kind of pick you off while you climb these ropes. And just like the old school Castlevania games, one of the problems with getting hit in this game is that it not only damages you, but it also knocks you back. In some cases, quite a bit. So, you really want to kill these guys, or at least one of them, if you want to try to get up this rope. Makes it a lot easier. And after that, you can just... Oh, wait. Can you actually get up there from here? I don't think so. Can't get back up there. You just jump into this portal. You have the key. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? Alice, don't give a damn about no suffering. Alright, so that's the end of Pandemonium. I will see you next time in Fortress of Doors.